Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum, Tula to you. Welcome to a beautiful Ramadan. This is your all-time favorite show every single Ramadan, Sahu Kitchen. And of course, it's the head-to-head. -head. Um, first things first, SubhanAllah, when we bade goodbye last year, we did say, Inshallah, we'll see you next Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed us and given us another lease of life to witness a beautiful Ramadan. May Allah make us see it till the end. My name is Amina Adams, and as always, I have beautiful guests um, that will be tantalizing you, entertaining you, and keeping the fun levels up. It's head to head as usual. Today in my kitchen, I have two heavyweight entrepreneurs. This kitchen is sponsored by Right Foods Limited, makers of Biggie Water, Biggie Carbonated Soft Drinks. You have several brands, Tropical, Apple, Cola, you have the orange drink and numerous others. And of course they have a new baby, Sosa fruit drinks. Have you tried it before? You haven't? Oh my days, you're missing a lot. Of course, we're also sponsored by Aspira Nigeria Limited. They are the makers of Viva um, Dishwasher Plus and also Viva Plus Detergent. Let's go right away meet our cooks for today. Guess what, both of them told me off camera, they don't like cooking like me. We'll find out. Somebody must shall win. Let's meet our guests. Um, I'm from Oku State. I'm married to Oladipo Bakari. I'm a mother of three. Um, I have a set of twins. I run Mojre Foods. Mojre Food is like an agro-processing business based in Lagos, Nigeria. And what we basically do is to um, partner with farmers to process, package and distribute Nigerian grown foods, healthy quality Nigerian grown foods. The whole idea is to make it convenient for consumers home and abroad to be able to access quality grown foods um, from Nigeria. We want you to always have that original taste that you are used to. Um, we're trying to solve food security problem, um, food safety problem. So our foods are processed um, under the best hygienic condition. Our products, we have um, Gari Jebu, so our Gari has that crunchy, crispy, dry taste that you're familiar with. With grandma, those Gary that grandma used to bring home. Our Ilubo is the original one. Um, or father rice, stone free. Honey beans is the original that cooks very fast. Yeah, so, I mean, when you think um, Mojre foods, what we want you to think about is quality, convenience um, for yourself or for gifts to your loved ones. My name is Alima Abodering. I run an Islamic retail store, Alamis Place, in Ikorojo. I started almost 20 years ago. Um, I'm, I'm married to my husband with six kids, six girls, you know. So uh, I started Alamis Place when I saw the needs for modest clothing. Actually, when I started, I do buy my things from Turkey, Malaysia, and the rest. So, and I told like, something I can do, I can, I should buy everything abroad since we can produce at home. I have little knowledge about sewing. That's why I started making those hijabs, started with hijab and abaya. So, when I started, I told that people have made a lot, I do get a lot of complaints that maybe it's not really well sewn and the rest. So, I went to fashion school, so started making all our hijabs, abaya. So, we tried to make things convenient for our modest sisters, our working class Muslim. So I get the modest way. Instead of buying I expensive one, and get local made modest way here in Nigeria. When we started, we started with just few hijabs. Presently, we have more than 23 hijabs designed that can buy from us. We work for schools. We have almost five schools in Abuja that we make hijabs for. We have in Lagos here. Yeah. We have in Oshun, Oyo. Um, what, what, one of the things that I think I really love about this is when people make complaints as a business owner, we try to listen to our customer. But if you listen to your customer, you're going to get you a lot of things that, you know, go to help you to, you know, to move further. So, my hobby, 
I love reading. Then I like my... I like to be alone. I don't like going to party. That's me. All right, welcome back. You've met my guests. Um, you now know who they are and why they are heavyweights and why we have them grazing the kitchen this year. Alhamdulillah. So, are we ready? Yes, we You know, you, you don't have <laughs> kotete. You have six girls, you know, six macho women in the I kitchen. So, we'll see how that plays out. And, and, and that CEO here, this is how it goes. I, you didn't know what you're going to cook, neither did you. I didn't know either. It was handed to me. Um, it's my pleasure to reveal to you that why are you breathing heavy? <laughs> you're breathing is just affecting my standing. You are you're shaking my ground. Calm down. Let, let the cats out of the bag. Very hard. All right, very easy. It's just jollof fries with goat meat sauce. No yeah. brainer. Meat. Goat meat sauce. Okay. So that's easy piece. All right. But as a catch, I'm going to reveal a shelf to you. Okay. You would have to pick your ingredients blindfolded. Ah. <laughs> Whatever you pick is what you'll cook with. So feel free to pick color Kellogg's cornflakes. <laughs> feel free to pick, oh. you know, Amala. Yeah. And well, sprinkle it in right. your ah. And we end up cooking the right? <laughs> You whatever you pick, you would have to use it. Okay. And as you cook, so shall we eat. Alright, let's find out um, how well they'll pick these ingredients. Stay with us. You're welcome back. Here are your bowls. Behind me is a shelf with all the ingredients that you'll need. With some ingredients you don't need, so be careful. Um, we're going to go right now. Let's go fetch. They will need to fetch the ingredients they need to cook jollof fries with goat meat sauce. They have some ingredients they don't need. Let's see how well they fare once they are blindfolded. Um, so I'll be here in a minute. We'll blindfold them. Don't forget, you can ask for more bowls. I'm your kitchen assistant and I'll do anything you send me. It's time to blindfold, so... What is bold? You, one at a time. You, you so leave one at a time. Please go ahead and put your blindfolds on. Alright, so my boss says I should disorientate you a bit. Just get you all messed up and... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, um... Fair is fair. I'm asked to spin you around. You are used to seeing what you've seen. I don't know what uh -huh. you saw before. Are you good? Okay, I'm meant to be having, you know, rolling eyes by now. Anywho, if you're ready, I'm ready. I have exactly 60 seconds to pick the ingredients that you need. My timer, are you ready? Yes. The time starts now. Thank you very much. You can take your blindfolds off. <gasps> Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back. I need to clear this place and then they'll try to figure out what they've picked. They don't even know what they've picked yet. Your blindfolds and you can come back into the kitchen. We'll see you soon. Stay with us.
Welcome back, pages. Join us. It's Sahar Kitchen head to head. It's Madre Foods Alamin's place. They picked what they think they'll use to cook jollof fries um, with goat meat sauce. Let me come to you first, Alamin. What did you pick? Bear in mind, everything you picked must be used. Tell me what you picked. Talk, oh. talk us through. I took banana. Banana? That will be blended with the pepper. Yes. <laughs> Onion. Onion. Real pepper. Real pepper. Tomatoes. Okay. Scott bonnet. Yeah, you right. picked rice, thank God. At least we'll have rice yeah. and banana pepper paste. That's going to be nice. <laughs> nice combo. <laughs> and of course, you made you, your goat meat made it through. Yeah. What did you pick, Modri? Salam yeah, alaikum. Salam carrots. We have tomatoes. Okay. We have the rice. Rice made it, thank Green. God. Green, Green pepper. pepper. Yellow bell, bell pepper. pepper. Red pepper. Spring onion. Spring onion. It's like something like <laughs> onion. onion. Scott bread. Um, ah, ah, lemon, <laughs> bobo, juicy jollof and lemon. Then, um, chicken. This is chicken. Did goat meat make it? Yes. Goat ah, meat made goat it. Meat so, made chicken. It. Uh, looks like we're going to have a major concussion going on here. <laughs> but we'll see how that plays out. You have exactly 40 minutes to cook. Okay. If you get famished, thirsty, we have biggie water refreshing you. Okay. The yeah. fridge is loaded with biggie water. Please enjoy cooking, of course. And, um, Thanks to Viva Plus, Thank the you, detergent, Viva. very soft on the palms, yes, right? And right. Lovely uh, fragrance. Um, don't forget, I'm going to be distracting you a lot while you're cooking. That's the whole fun. It's a cook talk show. Right. And we've brought two heavyweights to the kitchen to handhold some of our audience that are just upcoming, either in the fashion industry or the food industry. And so I hope you have your notes and pens, notepads and pens close by to take notes as we talk through. Um, this weekend. Of course, you'll tell me what you have planned. What's your plan to achieve this jollof rice with goat meat sauce? If I come to your field, what's your plan? I'm going to do the the, um, the goat meat so I'm going to boil that one. Okay. Then why do that? I'm going to cut all this and blend the okay. pepper. Okay. Then. When was the last time you were in the kitchen? It's been long. <laughs> Not supervising, just like literally. Boiled kitchen. Not all the time. Long, long, like one year, two years. No. No, not that long. Not that long. Uh, you were just there last week, supervising okay. how she was cooking now. Yes. Well done. All right, Modre, yeah. what's your plan? How do you plan to concoct all these things that you have gathered? So, simple jollof fries, so see what you're going to do. Don't worry, this will do the washing for the uh -uh. protein. Uh -uh. This will do the marinating of the protein. Uh -uh. I'm going to blend all this together to get a delicious sauce. Awesome. And then the carrot will come in the sauce. The uh -uh. rice, of course, the major ingredient. And my tomatoes in the sauce. Uh -uh. Go, go, Let's chef! Chef Mojri to be <laughs> rescue. Oh, what am I saying? You're a food merchant now. All you right. have to be able to concoct We have to show you how to use it. Well done. Thank yes. you so much. All right, so you can um, start cooking. Obviously, your time is running. Modre, yes, what led you to where you are? Tell us a bit more about yourself first and when you discovered that your passion is in, um, should I say food service industry? Because that's what it really is, right? Products and services, because it's one thing to package the products, another thing to give them the after sales service, talk them through and what have you. So just um, a bit more about your career. Okay, so a bit more about myself. I'm from a family of five. Um, we are all girls. I've always been a restless um, daughter. You find me doing different things. Um, I remember in my university days, when everybody is resting during the holidays, I'm finding something to do. I have to sell this, I've had to do um, fashion for students, um, watches, um, in fact, mm. thinking about it, I've baked. You can use the chopping boards there, chopping yeah. boards there. I've actually Over baked. There. Because the knives are very, very sharp. Yes, so I've actually baked. During the holidays, I find myself baking. I'll give to my mom to help out um, with sales at work. Okay. So mommy will help and days that she's, um, she's Be there. careful, please use the chopping oh. board. Those knives are very sharp. Days that she comes back um, selling out, I'm happy. Oh, how did mm, sales go shower. today, mommy? Like she says, oh, I'm finished selling. Mm. I'll be so happy. And mm. days that she doesn't, I'm like what happened? Mm. So it could be, oh, no, they didn't have enough. My mom is a retired chief matron, so okay. it could be that they didn't have enough um, 
patience, mm. it could be that a lot of people didn't come, mm. we get feedback, she has her friends for parties, somebody will buy one today, the next time they are saying, oh, can I get a bigger size, I have an event. Alami, I think I'm going to leave you to be cooking <laughs> freely, no disturbance, yeah, I'm coming so, for you. That's um, carry on. Yeah, right, so, so that, that, that has So you already been... go into the flavor of entrepreneurship uh, yeah. at a very yeah, early age. Yeah, yeah. And and so how did that then Trans metamorphose trans 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 into this? Because you were, you were also in a full-time high yeah, yeah, neck yeah, yeah, job. Yeah. I don't Interestingly, think... I studied yeah. um, estate management for those We'll come back to that in a minute. So, uh, what's okay. happening, Alamin? I'm already smelling some, I think they started cooking. This is just the onions. We're chopping onions just now, Abby. Mm -hmm. That's where that came from. Okay, so tell me, how did Alamin come about? Okay, alhamdulillah. Is it your name? No. No, I was thinking that I'm going to have a baby boy. Oh. So that's why I say, that's why I was like, once I love me. Mm. But I love we have girls. So I say, oh, girls. girls. Yes. The boy is still coming. Ah, at what age? No <laughs> <laughs> matter. We are not yet Sucks. 17. Ah. You have all the spices okay. that you want there. But if you need me at any point in time, just ask me and I'll get it okay. for you. Yes, yeah, so, so Alamin is on the way. Ah, uh, Alamin is there already. We have the <laughs> store, so. Okay. So as I said, as I said when I was in school, mm. just like doing my school, something. secondary. No, when I was in, when I finished my ONG, okay, just I was doing something. Uh, so as restless as Modre, that or more then, restless. <laughs> <laughs> then why well, I started that thing? My father had a bakery, so okay. I was working in the bakery. Mm. So I was doing my IT with him, so I was like, I just need to do something. So that's why I started going to University of Ibadan. I started okay. my things to University of Ibadan on Fridays. Mm. So I said, that's how I started Alamin's place. What it makes me start is because of my cap. Yeah. You know, I wear the cap, people like, ah, the cap is beautiful. So I started the, I started the oh, mm. stuff then. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know how okay. to sew. You can open it if the, uh, um, if it's not coming out. So just okay. pull it up easily. You didn't know how to sew. So, mm -hmm. so I started and I, the one I did, I just gave it to one side. So you just dump the bullion cook. They are not the type that. Okay, it will dissolve. Normally, should ideally. I'm asking, I just, uh, you know, I learned there's all sorts of styles of cooking in the kitchen. It will usually dissolve, yes, so that's dissolve. fine. Yeah, so, Alamin so, started with just what? that cup. When I started with that cup. Mm. So, when I, the first one I did, I asked someone to help me to take it to IVC then. Okay. But when I didn't allow me to do it, I didn't So I wanted to go by myself. But I said, no, you can't go because I'm AK. Mm. So I always felt sick, malaria all the time. I was like, like no. Um, so I you can't go. Your stomach, can you take the pots out so we can see, see? Okay. all your movements and everything as it's going? So when yeah. they took my things there, unfortunately, mm. I told the that brother to sell it for me for 1000 120 naira day. 120 naira. What uh, year was this? It was 2003, 2004. Hmm. That no, 120, when you said it, 120 multiplication lane. I wish you could get it. It's possible. 120 naira that time. So yes. when it got to the IVC, he sold, he got, he, he, unfortunately, other people are there, they're selling yes. for 120, I gave it to that brother so you can to sell for 150. Okay. So he couldn't sell much because of the price I gave him. I gave him 120 to sell hmm. for 150. Hmm. So, at the camp, people are selling for 120. Okay. So I gave it for 120. So it doesn't way. It will make anything. They make, so it just sold few. Hmm. Why I'm at home, I've been, you know, ah, I'm going to miss so so I'm out of money. Hmm, you already calculated my profit. <laughs> <laughs> Why you came back? Ah. I returned your caps. I got my caps. I was like, wow, what happened? Hmm. So what I did was that like, what happened? That told me that some sisters were there that are selling because they were, they were tailor already. Hmm. So they make this by themselves. They can manage fabric and everything. Went back to dream board. I said, what happened? Maybe because those people they can sew. They can manage the fabric. Me, I gave it to tell us to sew for me. They tell my mom, you know, manage the fabric. That's what led me to fashion school. So you have to go and learn yourself. Down, I was doing my ITO. So I, I, when I visited my, my ITO bakery in the afternoon, I go to a fashion. I was very close to my house. Wait, there. Can you all hear? So this is this is this is this is interesting, and I'm glad that I have you saying this to them, they can hear it from you. No food for the lazy one. She was learning bakery. She didn't, she was restless enough, wanting more out of life, wanting to do more, be more. And so whilst in the afternoon, she's a baker, in the evening, she's a fashion entrepreneur. We'll be back, we've got a short break, when we'll come back and we'll see how much they've progressed. They have just 40 minutes to cook. Both of them are doing head to head, serious head to head. I see there are proteins on the fire already. Um, don't forget this kitchen is sponsored by Right Foods Limited, makers of Biggie Water, CSA drinks, Fearless Energy Drink, and of course their latest kit on the 
block Sosa fruit drinks. We also have Aspira Nigeria Limited makers of Viva Plus, um, liquid wash, and of course, detergent. We'll be right back, stay with us. If you just joined us, it's Sahur Kitchen head to head a la Mint's place taking on Madre Foods. Madre is doing mega major concussion. <laughs> eh? No, it's not concussion, it's jollof. Jollof. Right? We're supposed to be jollof cooking jollof rice right. right. with goat meat sauce. So. Why is it jollof? Yes. <laughs> that right. lemon, okay, you've used the lemon to, uh, uh, to, wash. to wash the, to wash the protein. protein. Yeah. Awesome. And her protein, she picks goat's meat and chicken. Chicken, yes. So um, a bit of um, flavor coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you prepare for Ramadan with a blossoming career and the family and all of that? Do you actually set out a proper plan for Ramadan? A list of the things I want to do this Ramadan and how, how does it all work out? Career, family, all of that. Hmm, interestingly, I'm happy you asked that question. Okay. Um, I have desire for the gift of life and the ability to be able to think and do a lot. Hmm. I mean, yesterday I was just having to update my Ramadan goals. Mashallah. Because I realized that for me to be able to do more, in the past I just realized, oh, Ramadan is coming, Ramadan is coming, in the middle of work. I just say, oh, we're on day one of Ramadan. Hmm. So one of the things I tried to do this year is to be more intentional about the planning. So we ha I have my goals set, um, personal goals, family goals, spiritual goals. When you say family goals, do you involve the family oh, members? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so something as if as, oh, for my children, they're already looking forward to Ramadan because we eat together. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the period where, I mean, we bond together, but this, you know, because everybody Special, has to wake extra, up together, we yeah. have to eat together. So it's something they all look forward to. So that's if we are all looking forward to Ramadan, may Allah make it easy for us to... I mean, I mean, quick one, let me jump into Alamin's kitchen. You started blending already. Yes, I want to blend, but... The banana want... is going in, Sabi. <laughs> I don't want to put it on. <laughs> you want to put, put it somewhere. It. I don't want to give you mm -hmm. Cheeto, because you know you can serenade. Don't forget this 40 okay, minutes. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll do that. Cooking now, and just... serving. You are going to serve. Yeah. So your presentation style might win your extra max. Okay. Yes, Thank so, you. and it's all in this 40 minutes. So, yeah, Alamin. Okay. Your pepper blending things. I think I Man, this one. your meat is so, oh, oh, makes sense. It's then. coming, oh, oh, coming, it's upcoming. I love what you did with your own, I see spring onions, rodo, all stuff in there. Awesome. But you have more chicken than goat meat. Yes. Yes. I'm glad I, I goat meat made it. I was actually scared. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to eat chicken. Okay. And, and, yeah. All right, so I was just coming back to you. I know I'm coming back to your plants. We'll learn more about your plants. Your Ramadan plan. What do you plan for Ramadan? Or do you just, does Ramadan just happen on you? All your career, all the business. Do you wind down and say, any order for Ramadan? It was coming before this day. After that day, I don't get your time again. How does it work? You know, for us, it's opinion, you need to have a plan for everything. People as a Muslim must plan because if you fail to plan, you yeah, plan to, to fail. fail. Mm. So already I know that this is one of the things I'm going to do for Ramadan. I started this maybe like three months before now. I've been trying to do some things, put something in place, our uh, production and everything. So I think uh, my plan is. I may have a question for mm -hmm. you, but before my question, there's something else that happens in this kitchen that I didn't tell you before. I told you it's a, <laughs> it's a drama zone, right? Okay. You get to ask yourselves a question. Okay. So, Madre Foods, you have a turn to ask um, Alamin a question and vice versa. Okay. If you can go to any field, though, geography, you know, oh. geology, hey. go anywhere, okay. astronomy. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Your aim is for not to get it right. So that you can go and collect something in her kitchen mm -hmm. to deprive her. Okay. Uh, 
But then you have um, other options, so you can choose to have mercy on her, but then it's your call. I'm going to come to you first, Allah. I mean, have a question for Madre Foods. What question would you like to ask her? Okay. Don't do nice, nice here. I'm not <laughs> Don't be nice, because you don't know what she's going to do to you. Okay. All right. How do you cope with your style? Oh, a bear rare. No, no, See, this, no, this is an open-ended question. For the fun of it, Madre, she's asking you how do you cope with your employees, but that's not a question for you. Better start thinking of better question because that question is <laughs> about all it. But just for learning, okay. see, how do you cope? Let us ask that one. Let me know what to do. <laughs> Answer them. How do I cope with like that? Yes. By um, continuous engagement, sharing the vision, allowing them to see the bigger picture, trying to understand their dreams and aspirations and see how go so that you can yeah. actually yeah. work yeah. together. Right. Right. So that's not your question for this show. That's okay. not the question. What's your question for Alamin that will make her give up her goat's meat for you? Because you will lose points for serving meat chicken. We ask for goat's meat sauce. This is your opportunity to carry her pot this of goat's meat. Money. How do you prepare? Do you know how to prepare it, Dr. Ray? Dr. Ray? Yes, no. I know to do it. I've done it before. I want to use what I've done it before, which year? Uh, you know, I'm not a Jebu person. I just no, buy it. You know how to do Yes, I know. I know how to do it. Just use those own. Um, it's not what are you, Amadi? Mm -hmm. Are you asking her? I know now. She asked you a question. <laughs> I'm your Oba. I know what to do. I know. Do you, you, do you make it up? Yeah, I'm going to grate it. Great yam. Then, you're going to get your. Oh. Great coco yam. No, it's not coco yam. Oh yam. That was water yam. Don't yeah, sure it was. I'm very yam. sure. Okay. I've done Great this before. Great water yam. Mm -hmm. They're going to get all these um, pepper, all those things. Yeah, um, meat, fish. They don't want to put what they have to mm -hmm. eat. They put it on the fire. What are you putting on the fire? They um uh, pepper. They put to hard um. I didn't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it now. Hey. Hey. Let's save her. Let's save. Let's see. Shall we? She has. No, I'm not. She's I'm not. She's 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 not. And then to I already the boil right water earlier. Yeah, so like multitasking, long more. But what's going on here is just the meat on the fire. Your pepper is still it's about not, to be I don't ready. Know what it's not really. Let me just take it out like that. It's, okay, so I see almost there. What mm. else? What's your plan for this jollof rice? It's not yet on the fire. We are 15 minutes done. It's really good. Don't worry. You will make it. All right. This is the time we go for Beaver Kitchen Hacks. Stay with us. When we come back, may I have my question? No. Oh, yeah, hacks. Yeah. Yeah. And when I ask you a question and you don't get it, I will stop your cooking. Ah. <laughs> I'm continue on our behalf. <laughs> anyway, be let's wait go see this Viva Kitchen Axe. We'll be right back. In this season of Ramadan, let us embrace the spirit of compassion forgiveness, generosity, and self-discipline. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our ibadah as we strive to become better versions of ourselves. May our hearts be filled with mercy, our souls with kindness, and may our politeness take over our arrogance. Ramadan Mubarak to you all from Viva. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are we all doing? I want to show you a couple of kitchen acts that we can put together for you to make your kitchen stay very clean and the likes. This is Viva Kitchen Axe. Viva Kitchen Axe is where we show you all of those things that you can do in your kitchen that you never ever thought that you'd be able to do. Viva Kitchen Axe is sponsored by Aspira Nigeria Limited, the makers of Viva Dishwashing Liquid. As you can see, we have the 600 ml, the 300 ml. I, I, be like, I feel like for people that have a lot of children in the house, they may not want to buy this one. 
but the bam, bam size which is the big family size that comes in one liter this is what i like i said i know a lot of people that have children who want to patronize this remember this is viva kitchen arts so just stay tuned and i'm going to show you a lot of arts that you can learn from my name is abdusemi okwadi this is viva kitchen arts Welcome back to the Viva Kitchen Act segment of Saru Kitchen. Like I said, I want to show us a couple of acts. Today, I have lots of fruits. How many of us have been buying fruit that has been spoiling? We buy our penai pools, we probably just forget it and abandon it in the fridge. You'll be wondering that, ah, oh, but then, not to worry. I want to show us how to keep your fruit staying fresh. So today I have banana. So this is apple. I have my banana, I have my apple. So this is lemon, I have my two lemons here. There are a lot of fruits out there, but this is just what I have for me. So now, I want to make these fruits stay fresher than they are staying before, right? So all I need to do, it's not hard, I'll get myself a bowl. So now this is the bowl. Get a sufficient quantity of water. Why the water is pouring in that? Let me get myself, okay. So this is baking powder. Uh, so, okay. So now you're going to take a teaspoon of baking soda so now i'm just going to put that okay i think this is this is enough teaspoon so you just pour that inside it so you whisk it you whisk it in you know you stir it well so that the baking soda don't just sit, settle into the water you understand so you keep turning so now i get my bananas i can actually you can separate it for so that it would, you know, it would touch it, touch everything supposed to touch very well. So you leave it for a few seconds so that it can circulate well. So you leave it in the water for five seconds. Yeah, and there we have it. You can remove your fruits, return it gently into the clean bowl. So now you can store your fruits in your fridge for proper preservation. So let's go for a short break. I'll see you again shortly. Welcome back to the Viva Kitchen Act on Saru Kitchen, brought to you by Aspira Nigeria Limited. So today, I want to show us how to clean the blender. Because I know there are a lot of us that use the blender to do almost everything we do in the kitchen. But not to worry, it's very easy. First, you have to open, you have to unlock the blender, obviously, anyway. So you put a little water first. So I'm just going to take the Viva dishwashing liquid, because I want to remove all of these bad smells. So you just pick a drop of it, so you shake it up a little bit for the soap to settle down. Then you had enough water. Okay. Then you lock it back. Then you lock your cover in. There we have it. So you unclock it. Oof. Then you pour it out. Then you rinse. And as you can see, my blender is sparkling clean, like new, thanks to Viva dishwashing liquid. Till we meet again, my name is Abdusemi. This is Viva Kitchen Hack. What is your definition of a lead day? For me, every day comes with its own vibe. Some days, you just want to have fun with your besties. Other days, you just want to chill and finish that series. Some days are for rolling up your sleeves and beating down those market prices. While some days are for the family and those nutty nephews and nieces. Luckily, we can enjoy these days and live life to the fullest, knowing that Viva is there to keep us spotlessly clean every day. You're welcome back. It's still Sahara Kitchen. Head to head is a Lamin place versus Madrid Foods. Your pepper just went in right about now. Yes. Yes. And the we put in onions first to 
Yeah, to season, the oil. So to give a flavor to the oil. Yeah. And I added some curry and thyme to the onion before adding my pepper mix. Yeah, yeah. You need to be in this kitchen right now. The flavors attacking me. Left, right, <laughs> Thank God it's Saho. If not, what is she no like my Anywho, how's, how's it going here? I'm saying on The pepper it. is ready also. So what's the plan for the pepper? How do you make your own jello fries? I first of all put the oil, the um, onion. Yeah. Then, when it's done, it's done. So you make sauce as well? You make yeah, sauce yeah, yeah, I make sauce. Then I put the pepper. So when it's done, then I'll use the... Uh, meat stock. Meat stock to do it. Okay. We have a plan and everything is going well. It's time for me to ask my questions. I'm going to come to Madre Foods first. Right. When was the last time you passed in front of Ileke? Ah. Shame in Madre. I said in Madre. Ah. 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 Passed in front. Yeah, this morning. Eh, I can't go. Nice talk. When was the last time you entered inside Ileke? Last week. Okay, so you have a. We are consciously in. Madrasa. No, I'm, I'm about to enter Madrasa. So, because I live in a Muslim estate, Masha, your wow. question is given, like, it's, it's easy to answer. So, if I had to go to the mosque, it's as good as going to Lake right? I'm because there's Madrasa. No, you said, when last did I go it's to? Not the question. Oh, that's I'm the tip of. Right. I'm coming close. And, and, yeah. and, uh, oh, so, that I want to know that you are disgracing. Oh. Well, that's the question I'll ask you. You will disgrace your Ustaz. Don't yeah. worry, I, would, I don't have. I'm, I'm about to renew my relationship with my Ustaz. So, <laughs> there's no worry to be. Anyway, it's time to be it from asking you the question. All right, I'm waiting. At least you have an idea of the chapters of the Quran. Yes. You know them by name. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I just want you to tell me the first 10 chapters of the Quran in the order in which they appear. First half. Okay. Nah. In the order in which they, they appear, appear. From the back or. They're only from the back. <laughs> number one, part 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 number nah. two. Is no. It, is it back or? Yeah, in the ah, back or. I'm pretty journalist. And your back or. Yeah, that's it. Uh, part your back or next. I don't know. No idea. I thought you were going to ask me from, from the from the Let me just pepper. Let me, let me, let me just pepper. You shall let me do that. I don't need to. Okay, help her. It doesn't mean she will help you. Bakora, then Iran, then Nisa, Abi. And Nisa, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm stopped. That's what you need. Oh, mommy. I have to. Oh, my God. Anyway. It just tells you one thing. One you cannot stop learning about the dean. You learn from cradle to grave. It's one thing to send your kids to Madrasa. It's another thing for you yourself to be there. When your kids go to Madrasa and they don't get it right, what punishment do you give them? Sweet talk. Encourage sweet them. Talk. Me, I'm not Encourage. sweet talking you. I'm going to turn off your the cooking. cooking. Yes. Oh. yes. You oh. lose a few minutes. Oh. And that's, let's see if um, she'll be joining in the punishment. <laughs> Watch me. Yeah. Your turn. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for my question? Well, let me know if I know it. <laughs> okay, it's a very simple question. Okay. Some animals' names were used as chapters in the Quran. Okay. Just give me four. Ah. Ah. I know Bakola, Shakao. Okay. <laughs> then, let me show that one again. Ah. I'm ashamed. Mm, ah, I'm ashamed. I'll go back to the kill now. You know, oh, this will make you go back to the lake. Yes. The lake is in their area. You can do and lucky. It's in my custom. It's in my custom. All right. So um, your own punishment as well. You would have to lose some lose time in the cooking. Okay. Yep. Madre, you can turn back your. Oh, thank yeah. you. She mobile in tunnel of Baisha. All right. So yeah. Um. So what are you doing? Tell me. So when you're chopping, let's see your hand movements. Let's see what you're doing. Um, okay. Yes. I'll just clear this out of the way. Let me return this. Don't the worry, the won't last for too long. Like we did establish now, mommies need to get back to Ileko as quickly as possible. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Learning the chapters of the Quran, how easy is that? There's just 144 of them. Learning them one to 144, very easy. Knowing, you know, simple, simple things. And this, you have games that you can play together to learn this together. So let's get more involved in learning as a family. You can turn back your okay, thank cooking you. on. Your punishment is over. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, host. Yes, yes, yes. You're welcome. So nice like that. 
Um, let me come back to uh, I mean, This is us giving, we're trying to have a mini um, training session for fashionistas or fashion designers out there. What would be what you've learned in the last, how many years have you been in this industry? Um, so quick tips for them to rise to the top of okay. the um, ladder. Let me just say from the, from the beginning, what, what one of the challenges that I had to them was that the sewing skill, most people, they just went to tailoring school. Okay. They didn't even teach them all the details. Mm. So, but when I went to the fashion school, not where that, those are the things that people are complaining about. That mm. the job is not well sewn, all those finishing and everything. So, I think they should take attention to details. They should invest in invest themselves, in themselves by going, going to, to proper, proper schools. School. Even if you have gone to one, you can still go more because There's no, no things are changing all the time. Indeed. You know, the way technology okay. is now, things are just involved so it needs to make sure we are improving make sure we are improving ourselves all the time but if you if you refuse to uh, develop yourself let me start with you for absolute yes. not going to rest about it anymore so i think you should so start number sure. one training tip that she's training training is the number one tip she'll share with you tip number two then you should make sure that they improve themselves all the time then the skill fashion on um, the sewing skill is very um, very very uh, key okay. but if you don't know how to sew very well your finishing will not be yeah, well, fine. Yeah. Then, then you have to make sure that the technology, the technology is very, you know, they are really, I can remember some time that I want to sew, so I got a job that I want to do. And my tailor went for all the did come back. Fortunately for me, I had a um, cutting machine that can, sew, yeah. that can cost like 250 at a time. Mm. Fortunately, I just called my girls, we did it, and they couldn't believe it. When they mm. came back, they were like, let me make my share. Let me make my share. Because of that, I have that machine. Yeah. I was able to cut, they asked them to do the laser part of the work. Yeah. I mean, I did the technical part. Yeah. So I was able to deliver the job. So one thing I've learned is also not just investing in yourself, you have to also invest in your business, which is why you bought um, solid equipment yes. to foster your work. So tip number three before I go to Madre. Tip number three. Um, I think we've, um, what, what have we moved with the... Let me share a tip from Alamin that she's not saying, but she said it a lot. She said she takes feedback. She mentioned that before. Okay. Taking feedback from your customers, it helps a lot. Um, you don't know it all. You can't know it all. Let's go for Cocktail Boulevard. When we come back, there's more going on Taro Kitchen. We are down to the last 10 minutes. Don't forget, you're really? going to be serving meal, or as in, you know all those chef restaurant type things. <laughs> we'll be back. Stay with us. Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome to Cocktail Boulevard. I am Hanat and on this segment of Saho Kitchen, we show you how to make all sorts of cocktails, like the name suggests, um, from delicious ones to refreshing ones to ones with complex flavors. And this segment of Saho Kitchen is proudly sponsored by Right Foods, the makers of Biggie, Sosa Food Drinks and Fearless Energy Drinks. And as we know, Biggie is all about colors and flavors. And today we have a very, very amazing professional mixologist here to show us how to make delicious drinks with Biggie drinks. So, um, hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? So, what's your name? My name is Emma, and I'm your cook to mix all of this for today. Very excited to do this. So, what are you going to do for us today? Yeah, we're making virgin sosa mojito for now. That sounds delicious. That's, yeah, definitely. So, <laughs> so, why do we start? So, we start with an eyeball glass and the chopping board, please. So, we place them right here. So as you can see, I'm his assistant, and by the time we're done, I'll be on my way to being a professional mixologist. Okay, yeah. so you can help me with the line. Just one, I guess. So hmm. we just dice. It's already proven interesting. So um, these drinks we're making are drinks that you can make for your family, or you can make for your guests when you host the parties. Who doesn't like mocktails? Come on now. And since it's coming to Ramadan, you can also break with. Of course. So you don't need to eat heavy after the fast. You need to take something light just to open the way for your tummy. So there we go, just four. That's good. Come back with us. Then, Can you help moving the chocolate Yeah, board? thank you. Can you my life? So you can help me with the bitter lemon. Biggie bitter lemon. As you so, can see, we're already starting strong with Biggie. So this is just, we need just a very little of this, just to spice the 
lime in it up to up the juice. I see you using this fancy tool. Yeah. What's it called? This is actually a jigger. It's, it's used for measuring. What if I don't have what to measure? You can use... So we have this one. You can get them in the malls and everywhere. Everything has a measurement of it all. So you can just try and use this. What if I procrastinated and I, I forgot to get the measuring spoons? Then you need to start learning how to use them. So this is the main sleeve. You pick it up. It's sleeping like this, so you need to tap it up like, wake up, wake up. <laughs> so there we have our modeler, just to... You know, I'm already about to ask, what if I don't have it? Because I actually don't have, <laughs> I the, actually don't have one. Then you can try and look for a very thick spoon, but be careful with the glasses, okay. so you won't get broken. All right. So we use, we get a height, just a little. So you can still stir. You don't fill it up yet. So sa apu. It's okay. My assistant, come on. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So all you need to do is just fill everything up. So we are using the sosa apple um, juice. Um, earlier we used the Biggie Bitter Lemon. That's carbonated. The sosa one isn't. So you know, but in a little mixy mixy of both. Yeah. The drink looks so pretty already. So then you stir again, just to bring everything up. There's a lot of stirring going on. Yeah, because... And I'm not sure we can achieve this stirring with a normal spoon. Can we? No, no, you can't. So you just have to look for something tiny in the house. That's all. You have a straw. Make sure you use a free straw so every particles won't get stuck to nuts. Then you come out with your mint leaf just for the garnish to make it look more beautiful. Aww. You had one. I love garnishes. I think they always put them, just always bring the drinks together. Yeah. So, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. There we go. So now, I'm very excited. I'm, I can't complain. I'm, I'm drinking a mocktail at Sahur. So, can you have one? Of course. And I hope it's going to be nice. Bismillah. This is mine. Hold on. Hold on a minute. This is delicious. Very, very delicious. I taste the lime. I taste okay. a hint of the mint. Okay. Very funny how I taste the apple and the bitter lemon. And it just works so well. That's because the lemon and the lime, they work together. That was why I said you need this tip of it. The flavors just work so well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They work really, really well together. Like you can taste the mint. Mm -hmm. And it's not very overpowering. It's not as if that's all I can taste. You can taste the lime as well. Mm -hmm. And then the biggie lemon. It's just a hint of it. And you taste the apple. It's like you can taste the different components of this drink, but they work so well together, really. They do. Again, if you are able to replicate it, they are fantastic prizes to be won. Just make a video of you making them and share them with us on our social media handles at Saho Kitchen. And if you get it right, um, they're going to be fantastic prizes to be won. Thank you so much for joining in today. And we are very grateful to our sponsors, Right Foods, for sponsoring this segment of Saho Kitchen. Um, see you next time. Assalam. back i do hope you're all the steps you're learning are things that you're going to use in your homes um where do i go to first oh this one is doing soccer to our world. this uh -huh. rice is mashallah the rice is in i can see yeah, already it's and is. fried um the meat protein, yeah. the okay. protein is fried the rice but no goat meat there's goat meat where Don't is worry. it i'm it's seeing only chicken 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 do you want to have it you will hear it okay does Mama. this look like goat meat okay blue is looking like it's meat. Careful. All right, let's come to you very quickly. Um, what's going on here? 
I'm, you think I'm, you'll meet up with this rice? I'm cooked, trying. cooked jollof rice. It's real, don't worry, I will. Okay. Don't forget, presentation is part of what we'll be scoring you on. Okay. Is this tomato to garnish the jollof rice? Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Okay. So I see that uh, Madre food is nearly done. The rice is, you know, settling in. The sauce looking lovely. How are we doing here? Almost done. It's ready. Um, yes. This rice might need a bit of water. water. I'm yes. Not that. Anywho, it's 60 seconds to the end of your cooking. Uh, while you tidy up, start setting the plates, cleaning, doing the dishes. Oh, you've done most of your dishes already. Also, I have, you are yeah. a mega multitasker. <laughs> Mark a lot of feet. Um, All right then. Well done, and I mean, yes, I mean, so. I mean, I wish. I could allow you to bring your girls in. I've been now. Hey, I know. Um, I know, I know. Next time, I'll allow you. And I'll see you in, in action. Provising. General provides. All right. Um, this is where I count you down to 10, 9, 8, no pressures, 7, 6, 5, 4. This will need a bit of help. 3, so once I'm done with the countdown, it's me turning off your cooker and I do hope that I'll see a lovely plate of food in front of me. It's time up. Can I have your aprons, please? I need to go and set the table. I need to um, start washing the aprons thanks to Viva Plus. Very Thank lovely detergent. Thank you, Viva. Thank you. Beautiful fragrance getting ready for my next set of guests i have to also take off my own apron the next time you see me it will be at the dining getting ready to consume this beautiful meal see you soon hey welcome back if you're just joining us is saho kitchen head to head my kitchen is quick and clean thanks so much for the hard work and this is the time we get to enjoy our meal. You do a quick um, assignment for me. Please grab your cutleries and taste from the green plate first. Thank you. This kitchen is called St. Right Foods Limited, makers of Biggie Water, Fearless Energy Drink, various tasty drinks. Um, we have tropical, apple, orange, you have ginger, lemon. Please take a sip of water. Um, and loads more and of course they also have their newest kid on the block so suffer drink if you haven't tried it you are missing a great deal you want to try this out how did that go so please taste from the orange plates today in the kitchen i had alamin's place taking on madre foods um, two heavyweight muslim entrepreneurs that are doing awesome well if you ask me um top 10 entrepreneurs to watch out for in 2023 and beyond is this Great mind. <laughs> Mashallah, tabarakallah. Well done. Um, so it's time to vote. Green or orange? Modric? Orange. All right. Green or orange? Green. Green. Interesting. In this life, it's good to be good though. Just be good. Because <laughs> incidentally, they don't know where we serve the foods from. But I can tell you for free, each um, participant has voted her own food. It be like Sabi then walk. Well done, Barakalafi. It's my turn to taste. Um, I'm not even sure who is who because they served in my absence. I was here doing plenty work. Bismillah. Mm. The I know where I know where this came from. You know how I know. Mm -hmm. Did you use crayfish? Yes. The crayfish is very strong. Why did you sneak in the crayfish? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, could, I could have sworn that I was in the kitchen oh, throughout. Yes. <laughs> the crayfish is very strong and then the goat meat. That's how come I know that. That's because I know somebody did not use goat meat. Okay. I, know I, so, I know somebody used the uh, one style. <laughs> somebody cooked chicken. They had chicken infused goat mm. meat sauce. Did you use coconut something or anything? No. Now wow. I really didn't say anything. Please enjoy the work of your hand. Eh? Enjoy it. Apple, orange, orange. Apple, that's it. Too rashy. 
it's, I'm supposed to give a verdict now and I'm struggling and so because of this struggle that I'm going through I'm supposed to pick a meal that I enjoyed the most and I'm enjoying both there's a unique taste there's a, there's a flavor that I can't pin my hands on yet that it's giving me that it's making me do doing my head giz giz inside this meal but this great fish here slapping me left right center back to back and so I have to go behind the scenes to employ the help of my big bros and numerous crew members so I had five votes and guess what all five went to one plate really really <laughs> very interesting it is my pleasure to announce to you that this head to head was Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we now really won by Allah means wow. 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 Ah, nice. <laughs> That secret weapon you use, that crayfish, you <laughs> knocked everybody off. Very cool, people. Well so thank you so much Shout for your time. This you. Hired. I learned so much from you, and I do pray that you've also learned a lot from them. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Be in love with another beautiful package of Sahar Kitchen. Don't forget the segment is Copyright Foods Limited, makers of Biggie Water, and of course, Bed Made Furniture. We'll see you tomorrow, Bizina, with another beautiful package of Saho Kitchen. Until then, make the most of Ramadan. Asalaamu.